Well, obviously nice to, to get a 4-0 win on Tuesday night, but as a defender, always nice to get the clean sheet. It is, yeah. I mean, both them things in uh, put together are obviously going to uh, get us a win. So, I mean, the, the goal's coming back as well, which we need would uh, at some stage because we, we've got some uh, some great players within our squad and and uh, players that are going to get us goals and it was only a matter of time before they started firing again. And uh, it was great to see, you know, Big Ive getting a couple and uh, and Jack and Dems as well. So, um, and obviously the clean sheet that came along with it was, uh, was an added bonus. So, it, it was a good night. What did you make of the penalty as a defender? Do you have a certain amount of sympathy with an opposing defender when they get in that situation? Um, <laughs> I've seen it a couple of times. Um, I think we would do one, to be honest. I think looking back at the last five or six games, I think there have been decisions that um, I think could have gone either way and I, we feel as though they've gone against us. And uh, I think we'll do one of them, um, and we got it. And uh, you know, thankfully, I've capitalised on it, and, uh, and we took that lead. And you know, unfortunately for the, their kid, he you know he got the red. But like I say, we deserve that bit of luck, and we got it. And uh, when it comes your way, you've got to take advantage of it. And uh, and we did that. Yeah, and people have been talking about the lack of goals prior to Tuesday night. But I guess from your point of view, very much focusing on the defence. There haven't been many occasions where you've had a three or a, a four against you this season. So. In terms of the Christmas period, that must have been really frustrating. Yeah, I mean, if you look at defensively the season, how the season's gone so far, um, we've had a lot of clean sheets, to be honest, which, you know, the boys do take pride from. And uh, obviously, as a defender, that's that's what it that's what we're paid to do, first and foremost. Um, and we've got them, but I think when we have conceded, we've, we've conceded a few at once, which is obviously an area we need to work on. And, um, you know, the last few games, I don't think we've, like we've not conceded that, that many, to be honest, which is obviously a massive bonus for us going forward. And a uh, long way that continue, because it's obviously going to help the team and then the boys up top. and. Hopefully, those at the back as well can chip in with a goal. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I was going to say that on a personal level, one of your aims for the remainder of the season, you presumably like to get a few goals because it just hasn't quite happened as yet. It hasn't, no. Um, I mean, I fluff one at, at home to Bolton. Uh, I was upset with myself. <laughs> and, um, but, I mean, apart from that, don't really recall many, you know, great chances for myself. Not saying that the delivery has been there, just it's just not come to me that often, to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and make excuses for myself. I should be getting more goals, and um, you know, personally, that is one thing I'll be looking to do from now to the end of the season. Yeah, I suppose the Bolton one particularly frustrating because you're thinking that can be the one to to get me going. Yeah, I mean, looking back at it, it was almost too easy of a chance to be honest. Looking at it, you know, on the edge of the six-yard box, you look at it as a spectator, you think that's a dream of a chance that, and you know, I've just headed it too far down and it's gone over the bar. But um, you know, other chances will come and uh, hopefully I can tuck them away. Yeah, returning to the back three on Tuesday night and the back end of the game on Saturday as well. I think from your time at Bolton, that's a, a formation you know pretty well? It was, yeah. Uh, I mean, back then I played the left of a three, um, so I do know the formation really well. And, uh, you know, so do the boys that have, have, um, have played in it again on Tuesday night. We played it early in the season as well. And we can adapt to different formations. We do plenty of work on the training ground to, um, to you know, prepare ourselves to what formation the manager wants to play. And uh, you know, he's elected for that that formation on Tuesday night, and it proved to be the right one. Obviously, I think it was a convincing win. Um, obviously, they went down to ten men, but I think we we handled the ten men really well. Because I mean, sometimes throughout my career, I played against ten men, it, it can be quite daunting because the the whole game changes. You know their game plan changes, and they've almost got nothing to lose, and that can be you know a negative when you've got eleven, as daft as it sounds. And uh, we handled it really well, and it was a really professional performance from uh, from where I'm sitting. Yeah, so playing in the centre of the three central defenders rather than to one side or the other is that not quite so much fun? Because of course, one of the great bits if you get the back three right as a centre back, you can go forward a bit more. Depends how the game's going to be having fun or not, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Tuesday night was, in the end, it was an enjoyable game to play in. Um, you know, we got plenty plenty of possession and plenty of the ball and, and the lads were stroking it about and creating chance at the same time. We weren't playing boring football. We actually, even at four, we're still looking to get that fifth. Um, but yeah, as a central role, it's obviously slightly different to the, to the left or right because, you know, the boys left or right are looking to step in from time to time. and. And the central one's more about organisation, to be honest, which is what I think the manager would expect from me. Um, and, you know, 
I said to him from day one, I'm, I'm ready to step up to that. And uh, and you know, if he if he goes with that formation for the games leading to the end of the season, then uh, we'll all do our best. Yeah, and probably more than anyone else so far this season, you've been getting it, I'm sure, in terms of Frankie Kent and his chat during games, which Sammy Schmodick's having turned up. It must almost be like in stereo now, all of, the, all of the, the chat that's going on. You can see the two of them just kind of the whole match, uh, plenty, to be, plenty to be said. Yeah, it's funny you should actually mention his name now because he's actually stood at the window to my left. He's just left, he's just, he's just left now, big Frank. But yeah, he's... Um, uh, Smods has come in, obviously knows him from the Colchester, um, Essex boys, and, <laughs> and uh, you know they're always at each other, just two kids, aren't they? <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're, they're great lads, and uh, and uh, there's, you know there's a, there's a good good feel amongst the boys at the minute, um, as there has been all season, to be honest. Even when you know we've gone through a patch where we haven't won as many games as what we would have liked to, uh, you know the team spirit's always been there, and, and the belief we've never lost that. Um, but you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself or too ahead of ourselves and say you know it's job done because there's a long way to go yet. Um, it's we've got that win now. Um, I think it's the first in six, is it something like that? And uh, we needed to get that goals have come back in uh, the clean sheets there, and you know we know ourselves they're the fundamentals of football that that are needed to win games, and uh, hopefully that can continue on Saturday.